of my research involves the use of technology in ophthalmology and use of the latest treatments and how we can diagnose and use imaging to improve the whole care of patients with medical retinal disease. In one such study, I remember part of the research protocol involved asking the patients about their general well-being, just as another thing, just as an aside that was being done as part of the study. I expected the patient to be very, very happy and be very complimentary about the treatment she'd had. It had, after all, improved her vision to 2020 without need for extra injections. However, it turned out that she was deeply unhappy. This only came out from a specific psychological questionnaire. Not only was she unhappy, she was clinically depressed. Now, this was a lady that I knew quite well and was always skipping to my office and be quite cheery and uh, talk to me in a very happy way. And it was a big shock to me that this could happen. And it actually got me to thinking how many other patients might be like this and how much was I missing? Now, at first colleagues would say that perhaps it was just the thought of seeing me that would make uh, patients depressed or the thought of coming into Manchester. But when I looked more into this, we found that this was a worldwide phenomenon that wasn't being adequately exposed. Lots of research papers from different areas showed that there was a high level of depression and anxiety in patients, and we conducted our own research studies in Manchester which mirrored this. We uncovered lots of little bits of information about how this could be reduced, and one of the aspects of care that I try and give now is to try and think about the patient as a whole and have one part of my thought on the patient's overall well-being. It is important, I think, for patients to be able to discuss any anxieties or depression or feelings of sadness that they may be having or concerns. It's important for physicians to reiterate all of the information and reiterate it in a way that not only covers the legal requirements for things like consent, but also might cover some of the general concerns and worries that patients have in their everyday life about what will happen to them in the future. And this is a large area of research which I hope to continue uh, into future years to improve not only the visual acuity outcomes of patients but also the overall well-being that patients have at the end of the day.